Uh, Representative Jones, does the gentleman yield to a question from the gentleman from Iredale, Representative McNeely? I absolutely will yield. Yes, he sir. yields. Representative Jones, I, I want to ask you the question is, I understand that you went into public school and you went to Harvard and Harvard Law. And the question, I guess, is, uh, would you have been able to maybe achieve this if you were not an athlete or a minority or any of these things, but you were a student trapped in a school that the slowest, you know, in, in the wild we'll say the, the slowest gazelle does not survive, but yet the herd moves at that pace. So the brightest child sometimes is held back. Let's and don't be a point of like order. Before I, uh, Jim may state his point of order. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping I wasn't the only one that got shocked by that comment that the only reason you went to Harvard is because you were black and an athlete. I did not say that. I said, would that, did that end up being one of the reasons? I do not know that. I asked okay. him this. Right. I asked him this. Okay, all right. I don't mind answering. Jim doesn't answer the question. Um, sorry, I was reading a note here, so I didn't hear what was well, I, I apologize, and I'll reframe. I'll reframe. Uh, 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 the gentleman from Iredale is no longer recognized. Uh, Representative Jones, do you still have the floor, sir, to debate? It's time to wrap up. Gentleman has floor to wrap up his remarks. I, I, I just want to say that uh, I, I'm just going to say one thing. Harvard had five rankings for their students. One, two, three, four, five. And when I graduated from Harvard, I was in rank two. So I earned my place, and I did well. Now. The gentleman from Iredale, Representative McNeely, is recognized to speak to a point of personal privilege. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to deeply apologize to Representative Jones and to this entire body. I respect Representative Jones. I think he's a great legislator. I think he's a great man. What I tried to ask or say did not come out right. That happens a lot, and I apologize. And I look forward to talking with Representative Jones as soon as session's over to express my deep, deep, sincere apology, and I hope he accepts it.